And Guiding Eyes for the Blind provides guide dogs to people with vision loss, but now the animals are also helping those with vision loss maintain their very active lifestyle. News 12, Pete Ruff has the story. Karen Dewing grew up a multi-sport athlete, later becoming an avid runner and hiker. But at age 33, Karen started losing her vision, eventually becoming legally blind. I was fortunate. I did run several 5Ks, and when it became very challenging, um, my daughter was my guide. Um, and that was before I really knew about guiding eyes and the opportunity to get a dog. Karen was matched up with Flint a black lab who was trained at the Guiding Eyes Yorktown Heights facility. Running Guides program trains the dogs to be able to run and maintain safety for the dog and the client at a faster speed. The program began about six years ago and has become popular nationwide. The dogs train for at least two years before graduating. They're not just going out for a run and following their person around the park. They're still taking into account branches down, potholes, curbs, anything that could cause a safety problem. For Karen, her running days are far from over thanks to Guiding Eyes and Flint. To experience things that you've enjoyed over your lifetime that have slipped away, that now is returning, uh, is, is a great feeling. This month, Guiding Eyes is hosting a fundraiser called Wagathon. It's a marathon that you and your dog can walk or run anywhere. Money Race helps provide these guide dogs to people with vision loss free of charge. For News 12 Sports, I'm Pete Ruff.